Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Eagles Film Room with myself, Liam Jenkins. The big news this week is that Carson Wentz is out for the remainder of the season with a torn ACL. This of course throws Nick Foles back into the fray, but if he were to go down with injury as he did back in 2014 when Mark Sanchez stepped in, the Eagles need a contingency plan. That man is currently Nate Sudfeld. Drafted in the 6th round of last year's class, the 6 foot 6 prospect left a Big Ten in yards per pass attempt as a 3 year starter for Indiana, but is he ready to jump in at a moment's notice and have the weight of an entire city's Super Bowl hopes on his shoulders? Let's find out. A good place to start will be how quickly he processes the game and is able to scan through his reads. He's a decisive thrower of the ball and this makes life very easy when navigating through the pocket. We can see here Sudfeld is able to scan through the field with absolute ease. Take a look at his throw in motion here. He's constantly resetting his feet. His hips rotate almost straight away after receiving the ball. This allows him to manipulate defenders and able to get the ball up quickly without any kind of pressure. You can see that same motion there. It doesn't take Sudfeld long to adjust to his surroundings. This trait is partnered with patience inside the pocket. You'll very rarely find Sudfeld turning the ball over and this is reflected in his turnover ratio for the Hoosiers with just 7 interceptions in 2015. He very, very rarely decides to force the ball to a closed off receiver. Here for instance he rolls out, it's a double mesh crossing route, there's not a lot open, instead he rolls out and just takes a check down. It's not a first down but it's enough to make sure that ball is safe and the Hoosiers remain in a competitive position. This next play is something we could see plenty of if he was to ever suit up for the Philadelphia Eagles. Faking the handoff, Sudfeld gets back through his progression, scans through the field before making an absolute dart of a throw to a comeback route on the right hand side of the field. It's a great play and one that moved the chains for the Indiana Hoosiers against Michigan. This actually brings us to one of our first criticisms about Sudfeld. While throwing the ball, he actually utilizes a tilt motion which points his chest towards the floor at the time of release. This means he can't really get full extension or enough air beyond the ball, meaning his spiral is often a little bit wobbly, overthrows and underthrows uh, a regular occurrence here for the Indiana Hoosier quarterback. We can see that here, what should be a fade route into the back of the end zone or a shot right in the deep back pocket ends up being completely picked off because of the way that chest is facing. We can see it again here on this deep look, Sudfeld throws his arm down, the ball into double coverage way out of bounds. If we pause this video at the time of release, look at where that foot's pointing. The front foot is closed, the chest is leaning downwards and that just forces the overthrow in a tight situation. This can be directly linked with some inconsistencies when forced to throw under pressure. Sudfeld is drilled as he throws this one, the ball is underthrown and he's very lucky for it not to be picked off and that same tendency can be seen throughout his game. He's not Aaron Rodgers, he's not Carson Wentz. What he does with the ball in his hands when leaving the pocket or scrambling is anybody's guess. As the pocket collapses here, he falls on his own fumble and at the next level, when defensive ends and defensive tackles and even some linebackers are that much faster, they're that much stronger, the Eagles left side of the offensive line is crumbling right now. Wisniewski's day to day and of course you've got the left tackle conundrum with Halepu Levati Vitae. If Sudfeld is subjected to pressure, we can expect some underthrows as seen with this interception here against Michigan. He's not the most consistent quarterback when the pressure is on and if you partner that with his tilt throwing motion and he has to force the ball out a little bit earlier, it can often end in some ugly situations and the Eagles need consistency there. With that said, Sudfeld is the perfect developmental quarterback. It's what prompted the Indianapolis Colts to go after him during the regular season, and maybe what forced the hand of the Eagles to call him up to the active roster to begin with. He can make all of the throws in the book, manipulate defenses, and after playing against some strong competition in the Big Ten, can get you out of some tight situations. The upside is there too. Look at this throw for the Redskins in preseason. All of a sudden, that tilting motion on deep balls is not there anymore. This is a great touchdown pass against the Jets, and after working with Kirk Cousins, another notorious hard worker, you can see the impact it's had. That back is arched completely straight. There's no tilt motion. The chest isn't facing down. The feet are pointing outward. On a bootleg hit, Sudfeld strings the needle through the haystack and is able to create a brilliant touchdown pass against the Atlanta Falcons. The upside is there. He's got NFL potential and he's got the work ethic and the mantra to be a great part of this Eagles organization as a project quarterback for years to come, which is exactly what the doctor ordered. Is he ready to step up and lead this team with two minutes to go in a playoff game? Who knows? But what is for sure is that Sudfeld does have upside. Whether he'd want to be trusted, whether you'd want him trusted in such a crucial situation to back up Nick Foles with a season like no other. This is a magical time for the Philadelphia Eagles and if it all comes down to one throw from a quarterback who hasn't taken a regular season throw, 
it's gonna be interesting to see what happens will the eagles go for quarterback help i don't think it's warranted but thank you so much for watching this eagles film in peace guys let me know what you think of nate sudfeld's potential in the nfl and whether you'd be comfortable with him stepping in for nick Foles later during the week i'm thrilled to say that we've hit 100 subscribers already on this channel it really does mean a lot to me so if you're not subscribed already and you do enjoy this content hit that button let me know with a like and comment what you think about nate sudfeld